Hey everybody, welcome back to White Bluey Soaps. We are making soap! Yay! I'm super excited. I'm home alone. I do soap when my kids are home, but they are often in the other room. I make sure that they are good and settled prior to starting. And tonight, I am all by myself. Um, I just made a glycerin soap base um, from scratch, which I was super excited about. Um, I'm going to be posting some pictures online on my socials on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and one of my lights just fell. Isn't that always the way? You start filming and then you have things like this happen. <laughs> Great. See, so you think you're all set and you're ready to go and ready to start and... Lo and behold, you're actually not. So we're going to see if that's going to work. I have quite the setup here. I'm actually uh, in my dining room and I set up some lights because it is getting dark outside. It was a beautiful day this morning and it did a shower pass through. Now it's a little overcast. But all in all, it's been a really good afternoon. I am making a mixture of fragrances. Not sure what I'm calling this. Obviously, you'll know if you've clicked on the <laughs> on the video, then you already know what the title is. Um, or the fragrance. Okay, the, what this soap is called. Here we go, Penny. Get it together. So my lye is at room temperature. My oils are at room temperature. I have some cream back here, kaolin clay, my fragrance. I'm hoping um, to use some titanium dioxide for the majority of my base. Um, I have some activated charcoal mixed up here with some olive oil and I have uh, Mayan gold mixed up with some olive oil. This is a beautiful color. If nothing else, I may just use a pipette and do that on top because that does give a great effect. And I have a mixture of purples here. I honestly can't remember what's in there. I know there's some Vibrance Mica in there. I know there is some Oxide in there. It's kind of a concoction. I have my mold back here. This is an unnamed mold. I'm not sure what we're going to name her yet. I do have my little sample. I found when I go to... Uh, fairs and flea markets and such, um, folks often want to smell and touch the soap. So all my soaps are wrapped in plastic um, shrink wrap and I do leave a hole on the end for, you know, evaporation of water and, you know, so you can smell it. Not everybody's aware of that, obviously. Um, so it, it's a lot of um, me telling folks, oh, you can smell it on the scent or you can, you know, there's a hole there. So I'm hoping that having the sample, uh, by making a sample for each one of the soaps I make, uh, that will be helpful. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to do minimal editing. So this might be a long one. You might see a lot of mixing. You might see a lot of scraping. I might ramble like I have been now. Um, <laughs> but all in all, I'm going to try not to do a lot of editing. I'd like to do a, just a plain video to just to show you know, from start to finish of actually how long it does make to, to mix it up and the colors and everything. Um, uh, as far as the preparation goes and setting up everything, that's for another time. So here we go. I'm going to stick my um, stick blender in here. I'm going to place my stick blender in here and I'm going to burp it. There's some bubbles that get trapped underneath here and you, I mean, it's kind of unavoidable, but you do actually don't want a lot of air in your soap, um, but it does happen. It's kind of unavoidable. So I'm just going to give this a quick buzz before I add any kaolin clay. The kaolin clay does. Some people mix it with fluid, um, you know, with some of their water mixture or cream. I don't, f I find that it doesn't mix up that, um, it's not that difficult to mix up for me. It's just a little bit of extra mixing. There's no lye in here yet, this is just the oils. And of course I say that about the kaolin clay and you watch, this will be the one time <laughs> that doesn't go as smoothly. You can kind of see, I'm not sure if you can see, it's kind of built up on the sides. I certainly will, you know, scrape that down. You know, when you, um, it's a lot of work to make soap, but I love it. The process, it's just, it's, it's really cool. 
And then, at the end result is, you know, you get something that's not only beautiful, but functional. So I've been really busy working on my website and all my social media. Um, it's, they're up and, you know, they're live. You can check them out. There's a little bit of, you know, of information on our website about who we are, where, you know, how we started and whatnot. Uh, it is a work in progress, of course, like anything. We're new to this. So, um, so those are all available. Those are all at White Bowie Soaps. Um, it's www.whitebowiesoaps.com is our website. And you can find us on Facebook at the same uh, White Bowie Soaps. Uh, I believe on Instagram I'm at W Soaps. Uh, for whatever reason, that's what I got for my username. Um, I believe if you type it in though, you can certainly, it will certainly come up. Um, we're on Pinterest as well. Uh, we're on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I do have a website as well as Etsy. And you can check out my Etsy store on the website as well. I know me, when I get on Etsy, I get sucked into everybody else's cool stuff. And <laughs> So if you're that person, you can certainly just go on the website and avoid that. So now what we're going to do is add some lime. <clears throat> I made this lye a few days ago. Um, it's perfectly fine. I'm actually going to put this in here and burp this without the handle on it. and It does make it a little easier. So I'm just going to pour my lye down the stick blender here. Kind of go from this angle so you can see what I'm doing. Still trying to get used to the camera angles. I feel like this uh, view is much better than previous. So we're going to stick with this for a little while and see how that goes. I'm going to scrape this out just a little bit. And you want to be careful when you're working with lye. It can burn your skin. It's very caustic. So you definitely want to wear eye protection, which I do have on. I do have gloves on. Uh, that's not to say that I've never soaked without gloves. Uh, it's not good practice. So now we are just going to give this a little bit of a buzz. We're going to mix up the lye and the oil so they bind. And then I'm going to add my cream. And you can kind of see it change in color. And that's the oils and the lye binding. I probably just put my arm right in the shot. I'm not exactly sure how this fragrance oil is going to behave, so we're going to add it after the colorants are mixed. Just going to kind of hand stir this in to save some of the uh, stick blending. That does make your soap come to trace. Not sure if I told you what I have in my base here. I have tallow. Um, beef tallow that I rendered myself from a local butcher. I love using local ingredients in our soap. So it has tallow, um, canola oil, olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, and castor oil. And there's plenty of places to find recipes online if you're interested in giving soap a try. Certainly do your research. Make sure you're comfortable with using wine. You know, YouTube is a great place to start. Um, SoapQueen.com is awesome. Soaping 101 is awesome. I mean, there's so many great artists on YouTube. Um, soap artists that provide a lot of information. Um, I'm, I've gotten wealths, <laughs> wealths and wealths of knowledge from them, for sure. Okay, so this is just to emulsification. Um, emulsification basically means that it's not to trace, it's, but it is mixed together. There's no oil um, separating from um, the lye on top. And this creamy color. So I have a bucket of water back here. I'm just going to stick that in there and I'm going to give it a quick buzz. I do that just so the soap doesn't build up on my stick blender. Hmm. 
And you don't want to put too much water in your bucket because it will overflow when you do that. I'm kind of wondering about what design aspect I'm going to do. I've really been thinking about it in the pot swirl. So I think that's where we might be going. That's where we might be heading with this. Um, I do have this little mixer here. I love using this. I got it at the Salvation Army. I think I paid like 50 cents for it. It takes batteries. It's a little milk frother. But what I like to do with this is if I have small amounts of colorant and, you know, going into, or small amounts of soap batter that I want to color, what I'll do is I'll use this instead of my stick blender to mix in the colorant and the, um, the colorant and the fragrance. So I don't have to try to stick my big stick blender in there and then you splatter soap and it's really kind of a mess. So what I intend on doing here is I'm going to pour some gold, purple, and I'm going to pour what's remaining in this bucket into here just so it's easier to mix the white. And I am going to do just a little bit of black in this. So basically we're just going to do enough to be able to stick our stick blender in there. Alright, these buckets aren't exactly, I mean they're cool, you get them at the dollar store. They're inexpensive, you know, they're, they last for a while, you know, they're not something you pay a lot of money for and it lasts forever. Um, but they do work. And same with this white bucket here. I got this at the dollar store. You can buy a lot of soaping supplies there. So this is where the daunting, oh, this is boring stuff comes in where you start scraping bowls and whatnot. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can't make a big mess and dump some in here. Just a smidge. So I'm going to fill these guys up just a little bit more. start scraping. Alright. So I'm pretty sure I told you that my kids were gone tonight, which is super exciting. I'm not going to lie, I love my kids, but it's really nice to be able to be home and just, you know, create and it's just, oh geez, it's nice to have a break. <laughs> Any parents out there know it's so nice to have a break. So we're just gonna keep scraping. I told you this was gonna be the boring part. So I got a, um, or I received a Wholesale Supplies Plus order yesterday. I did film an unboxing for it. However, I did have a little bit of a debacle. <laughs> Um, we had a little bit of an issue uh, with some liquid product that I got. Um, my, actually the propylene glycol that I used for my glycerin soap um, leaked and a little bit of the coconut oil leaked. But they are such an awesome company. I emailed them and they remedied the issue immediately. Um, I spoke with them this morning via email and they, you know, of course, Apologetic completely. It happens. It's they're an amazing company. They offer free shipping over $40. They have tons and tons and tons of soaking supplies Super super company, so I'm not quite sure if I'm actually gonna upload that or not um, it, it came out really good. It turned out really well, but eh, I don't know I would just Hate to shed a bad light on them given the fact that yes it does happen I mean it's not even a bad light really it's just it happens and it's okay <laughs> it's real life stuff so I'm gonna put some I'll put the gold in here I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a mix this is just olive oil and the Mayan gold mica you can put mica in <clears throat> dry without pre-mixing it but I feel like I use a lot more um, a lot more if I don't premix it. Now I'm not sure if that's actually the case. It just seems as though. Um, and I, you know, this helps with the mixing process as well. You don't really have to mix it as much. And this is going to be so pretty. 
Our fragrance oil has a blend of, oh goodness, it has some citrus, it has some patchouli. Don't be scared, it has patchouli. <laughs> um, you know, there's some people that love it, and there's some people that hate it. I'm not someone that actually, you know, loves it per se, but this fragrance oil uh, is fantastic. It's just, it's great. Um, and so I mixed a couple of patchouli fragrances that I have. They were blends with some citrus and some sandalwood and, oh goodness, what else is in there? A little bit of vanilla. Oh, it's so nice. I believe there's even a little bit of, um, like a cologne type X type smell, uh, in there as well. Ooh, that is such a pretty color and you can... See the flicks of mic in there? I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but oh, it's so good. All right, so I'm just going to scrape this down a little bit. I don't know why I'm bothering to do this right now, because I'm going to have to put some fragrance oil in there. Just kind of getting away from myself. And this is the purple. And for purples, you tend to have to use a little bit more colorant. Um, and I was just saying, you know, about the powdered colorant and whatnot, you, you know, having to use, i feeling like I'm using a lot more. But color, uh, purple is just one of those colors that you really, it's to get a true deep purple, like that looks like in that container, it does take quite a bit. And I can see that we're going to have to give that little container a little mix. I like using these little um, <clears throat> souffle cups to mix my colorant in. Um, I've never had one leak. Now that I say that, it's probably going to happen. Uh, but they're really, they're really easy to mix colorant in. Um, they hold well. The covers stay on. And you don't have to mix up a ton. And by looking at this, I'm going to have to just throw some powder in there. And you're going to hear a door squeak. Oh, that's my squeaky closet door. I keep saying I'm going to do a tour of my soap closet one of these days. So we're going to jazz this purple up a lot here. And I've learned the hard way. Always put the cover on your colorant when you're done. <laughs> And this is why we only mixed our soap batter to um, emulsification. It's for things like this, the unavoidable, like, oh goodness, look at there. We didn't have enough purple mixed up. Now we have to go dig it out of the closet. It gives us a little bit of time to work. I do have a water discount. I'm not sure if I said that. Um, I think we're getting there. That's really pretty. Um, what am I doing trying to find the camera here? But, all right, I, I think that's going to do. I may change my mind, but for now, let's just keep moving. Now we're going to do the black, the white, the titanium dioxide when you mix it in with your soap batter. It certainly does speed up trace, so I am going to color that last. And it seems to be setting up a little bit, and that does happen when you use a water discount. I'm just going to use this little stick here to mix this in. Mix it up. Oh, that's pretty. That's going to be really nice and black, hopefully. We might have to add a little bit more. <laughs> say a little. It seems like a lot. It's really not. I promise. <laughs> it just looks it because it's um, dispersed in oil. Now, I know this one particularly is a really hard one. Um, activated charcoal is a really hard one to use um, dry in the powder form. It's going to get loud for a minute. Shaking up my titanium dioxide. I have some ball bearings in here.
Okay, so you start with the lightest color first, this one being the white. We might just get a cream. No, it's okay. Oh, that's actually really pretty. And I think where we're turning starting to set up a little bit, I am gonna hand stir the fragrance in. I am just tapping this off. Um, hopefully it's not shaking you. Just tapping this off because when I put it in the next color, it is going to uh, lighten it up because it is titanium dioxide. So from here, I think we're going to go to the gold, um, which is very beautiful. All right, let's set that out of the way. And it is extremely hard to burp these when they're in this small of a amount. say all right a lot. <laughs> it's probably just one of those things where, you know, if I was just soaping by myself and didn't have all my YouTube prints here, uh, I wouldn't be saying anything. So I feel like I say all right or okay, that's good or oh, I'm sure it will. I'll come up with some new sayings by the end of it. Or the more videos I do, I'm sure I'll get a little more comfortable. I definitely don't have a problem talking. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. See, just said all right again. I do it without even thinking about it. I'm just gonna give my little stick butter a juice here. Okay. Mix up this white. Ooh, that's nice, nice and creamy. So I think the only one we need to mix is the black. And I, what I'm going to do, I believe, is when I, um, I'm going to mix the black up when I put the fragrance oil in it. So hopefully we don't have any seizing issues. That would just be terrible. So let's make a little, not so much of a mess here. A little trash bin underneath the camera here. A little stir, they look actually really, really good. So let's 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 see what happens, right? You never know until you try. So we're gonna do the majority in here. I'm gonna give you a little bit and you a little bit and you. And it's just sitting on top. Hopefully you can even see this. I'm just going to set this upside down. Um, Alright. I said it again. Goodness, Penny. Get with it, girl. Get on top of your game here. <laughs> I probably could have used a longer spatula, but I am not giving up at this point. Oh. Yeah, and then you see, I knew when I was splitting it off, I should have, uh, should have taken a little bit more out of this, but, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, that's what I said in my channel description, that's basically where we're at. <laughs> I don't really want to uh, stick blend this anymore, I do want it to still be really fluid, um, I mean, I could, given the fact that I have water over here and um, it, my stick blender is cleaned off from the darker colors. I think this will be just fine, given this hand stir. So I'm going to set that one aside. I'm going to work on these ones. You can kind of see it's the oil still separated. So I'm just going to give these a little stir.
tomorrow I get to go um, to um, well, I guess it's um, the, I guess the best way to describe it is uh, our state capital. Um, we're going to Augusta. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. We have an appointment up there. I have to go to so me and my mom get to hang out tomorrow, which is super fun. She works a lot at night, um, and she's often busy when she's not um, at work. So it's nice to have a little mother-daughter day tomorrow. And I, I believe I said the kids are at her house, um, uh, but they're going to be with my sister tomorrow. <clears throat> Ooh, this smells so good. I can smell the citrus, the patchouli. I used a little bit of my new fragrance oil that I just got in, the patchouli linen. And it is awesome. You know, I... <laughs> I really cared for patchouli ever. I keep I probably have announced that I countless times to you. Um, within you know the few videos that I've talked about patchouli. So I'm just gonna take this cover off and dump what's left in there. You know, fragrance oils are expensive. Um, I do save this bottle. This one actually says uh, very sexy for him from Rustic Essentials. This actually isn't what's in here. I rinse these out um, and I use the smaller bottles like that to make blends with, um, like I did for this specific one. All right. I said it again. Oh my goodness, Penny. See, so much for the editing. Anyway, <laughs> the good, the bad, the ugly. Might as well say annoying in there, right? And this is the coolest little thing. I scored with this. You do have to be careful with this though. It does, um, it will splatter if it's not deep enough. Um, and I feel like this cavity is deep enough. Oh yes. You know, I could probably give these ones a little Hope that fragrance will all get in there. And all this takes is AA batteries, which is super, super awesome. I'm just putting it in the water to rinse it off a little bit. It doesn't add too much mixing, um, you know, to thicken the grease. Might as well go for it all, right? Well, if I was to use a stick, big stick blender in this, it would probably uh, really thicken up on me. So, down to the bottom. Okay, yay! I'm gonna stick this guy in there. Can't take the cover off, so the top off. Now for the undecided pour. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? This is still fluid enough that I could drop swirl it, but I feel like that's my signature. <laughs> I do that one a lot. So we are going to move this where you can see it. We are going to do an in the pot swirl. So I'm going to dump this in there. And this is nice and thick. I'm not going to dump it all in there. There's still quite a bit in here. This is what takes the longest, is scraping everything. You know, I wanted to not edit this video, but it depends on how long it is. This might be like a 40 minute making video with, you know, soap drama with Penny. <laughs> I made a um, lilac in bloom the other day and it was awesome. So I'm, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to pour this here, 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 and here.
cut off, but I did put gold mic on top. I did swirl it. I have an infinity swirl on top. It's uh, getting late here tonight. My kids are gone. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to watch a movie after I clean up this colossal mess. So I will attach the cutting video to this. So I will see you soon. And, you know, I'm super, super excited to see what this looks like inside. You know, it's the messy ones, the ones you don't think are going to come out good, come out the coolest. So I will, like I said, attach the cutting video to this. And we will both see together what it looks like. Until then, happy soaping, and I'll see you soon.